two successive victories at the Palace, the Pistons are all smiles again. A complete team effort and inspired play as the season winds down have truly shown this team's character. Tonight, though, it's back on the road, this time in the Windy City. The Bulls, led by Elton Brand, have gone through their own share of struggles, but this young squad lays it on the line every night. The Pistons must continue with maximum effort to repeat their recent success and finish the season strong. But Smith and company looking to get their third straight win tonight, and that would equal a season high if they can dust off the Bulls here. Stacking the pull-up. Got it! Just inside the arc. So a good start for Jerry. He was 11 of 21 shooting the other night. Then gave it up wisely. Stacked for three. Count it! He's got the first five points for the Pistons. Connors and McDonald's gift certificates. Plus, Fox Sports Net Apparel. 29 against the Bulls this season. Miller, six of the nine points. Back the other way for three. Jerry Stackhouse has 10. Man, he's feeling good about that jump shot. 1460 Troy. Detroit. Hoiberg lost it. Stackhouse, runaway train. Two-handed. Stack's got a dozen. Man. This pace, he's about ready to challenge Wilt's 100. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> First quarter. The Raptors a week later. There's 4,000 fans attending the Toronto game. Brand backing hard against Smith. Blocked by Wallace. Check out a couple of plays from your defensive player of the year, at least in my mind. Ben Wallace up high, rejecting, and then once again helping out on Brand. Get it out of here. Rebound. Out of the hands of Miller to Wallace. Stack open court again. On the throwdown, he's got 16. Crawford and Mateen Cleaves. Stackhouse fires. Good again. Is he feeling it or what? He's got 18 in the quarter. Most of the guys in the league, they won't tell you, but they'll get more pumped off a block than a dunk, you know, anytime, you know, because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't dunk, but then again, there's a, a whole lot of people don't block shots, you know, a block shot is, is rare, you know, uh, so, you know, I, I really get pumped off a block. If I can make a good block, and you know, then I'm pumped for the rest of the game. He certainly has been feeding off that. His block shots now up to 2.2 a game. A season high for him. Miller up and under. Oh. <laughs> Got another one after the whistle. But he has that knack, as you've talked about, Greg, of keeping the ball in play when he does. Working inside against Benjamin, the fall away. Two more! 20 in the first quarter for Stack. Is running four on three. Stack feeling. Turns on Hoiberg. Oh, my goodness! 22! Get out the calculator! And fouled it. I mean, this is when you know you're hot. High rainbow, archer, nothing but the bottom. And then the duplicate from the other side. With defense in his face, doesn't matter. And what's he do? He gets the line for two more. So 23 and counting. I was serious about the 100, you know. Well, guess what? <laughs> he's on, on pace. pace. <laughs> in fact, if you really want to be honest about it, he's on pace for about 107 or 8. <laughs> And we'll watch it. I'm wondering if perhaps... Williamson, Pistons up six, stack. Good again! That's his first field goal of this quarter. Stack makes twice, so give him 29. Here comes Williamson on the double. Pfizer ducked inside, blocked by Wallace, he's got four. Stack out against our test, kept him at bay. Stack scores anyway! My goodness, you have no idea how difficult that shot was. Stack, a launch. Got it for two. A lot of air under that shot. He's got 33 tournament. Wound up smacking the opponent, so he broke two noses. Ben still has to go on. And steals. How about that from the point guard? Another vote for the Defensive Player of the Year, Greg. Stack for three. Got it! You know, it almost seems like every time Ben Wallace makes a big defensive play, the Pistons score. Pistons running. Stack feels it. Pulls up. For three again! He's got 41! Back and Atkins down. Use the off arm. Wallace blocked him. 24-second violation. All because of number three doing his thing. Watching him every night. Another steal. Man, save this tape for Big Ben when you're trying to get votes. All the way, Co 
coast to coast. And guess who's pumping their fist about it? Be able to put distance between themselves and the Bulls, and that's exactly what happened in that third quarter. Stacked to the hole, no bucket. Unless they give it to him as a continuation. They're going to give it to him. Stop, because you had Chicago gunning for a 10-point deficit, or perhaps nine. Stack with 45 off the float. I just shoot. Got to hurry now. Stack inside the arc. Buries it. Career high, 47 for Jerry Stackhouse. Cleaves on the hurry up. Inside to Stack. Lays it in. Even the crowd now wanting to see Jerry Stackhouse get 50. He's one point away. He's down the floor to Stack. Here comes 50. In dramatic fashion. He's only five away from the Pistons' all-time record. Timeout on the floor, full timeout. Enjoy it. The fifth 50-point game in Pistons history. Should be his sixth block. Stack again. Why not? Two more. 53. Cleaves, you know he's going to give it up to Stack. Of course he does. Block, goal 10, count it. 55. One field goal away from the all-time Pistons scoring record. The entire bench into it. Way down the floor, stack if you can catch it. The record, 57. And it came apropos on the open floor dunk. You know, you almost feel like standing. We're not supposed to do that over here as broadcasters, but you almost want to stand up and get a guy on ovation. Why not? Jerry Stackhouse. 57 points. The all-time Pistons scoring record, giving George Blaha a hug. George was there, radio side, when Kelly Trapuka got his 57, and he deserves it. He started with 24 in the first quarter. That set an all-time Pistons first quarter scoring record. And he's our McDonald's player of the game. If you guess correctly, you might win $25 in McDonald's gift certificates and Fox Sports Net Apparel to surpass Kelly Trupuka as the Pistons' all-time single-game scoring leader. Our next Pistons game is tomorrow night when they host Philadelphia. It can be seen on UPN 50 starting at 7.30 with Kelly Trupuka. Our next telecast is Monday when the Pistons host the Hawks. Live coverage begins with the Pistons pregame at 7 p.m. Now from my partner, Greg Kelser, I'm Fred McLeod saying so long from the United Center in Chicago. It was fun to watch. Stackhouse, 57 big ones, scoring over half the Piston points as they beat the Bulls 110 to 83. You've been watching Pistons basketball on Fox Sports Net. Now stay tuned for the Detroit Sports Report. We'll be coming back live at it next.